Welcome to Learning in Limestone. The goal, success for all. Today, we're visiting Marysville Public School to see how students are learning about human rights and social justice through the arts. Why did you decide to focus on the Underground Railroad? Uh, well, our grade seven, eight students were uh, exploring a little bit about the Underground Railroad when they were studying uh, Canadian Confederation. Uh, so we decided they were kind of showing a very keen interest in that, and we decided to take it a bit further. It was kind of an interesting discovery for the students to make uh, in that their island, Wolf Island, actually plays a role in the, the uh, Underground Railroad. Uh, and there was a number of slaves that actually came uh, to find uh, refuge on Wolf Island as well. Uh, so it's been a good connection with the students to make uh, with their home island and home community and see how uh, that ties in with the, the greater history of uh, the Underground Railroad. It is pretty cool how they uh, come to Wolf Island and it's just incredible to see all of them just come here and to know that Wolf Island was one of their end destinations for them and it's good to live here. So. Can you tell us a little bit about the techniques used in making these pop-up books? Well, for this one, the V at the top and bottom, we, so they come, when you open it, they come up and down. Well, anytime you uh, incorporate arts into the curriculum in any aspect, uh, it really uh, shows an increase in student engagement, motivation. Uh, something that students were interested to find when they were studying about the Underground Railroad is uh, some of the connections uh, in the sense that uh, slaves escaping uh, would often use uh, song, uh, various arts, uh, textiles to uh, communicate. And so it's neat for the students to see uh, how arts can be used as a communication tool. Um, and that's allowed them to kind of reflect on how they uh, will represent some of their ideas. The arts in general address so, so many different other kinesthetic energy, uh, intelligence and using your hands and it, it uses your brain in a different way than just reading something. And so um, it's really important to, to try to address the, the skills of, of a broad range of students and so sometimes the arts can grab somebody who maybe has trouble with reading but can shine in this area and in my pop-up book well um, there's four different scenes the main scenes um, the first scene is of course her hiding in a barrel she's scared of her master because he's very mean to her you're learning about the connections Wolf Island has with the Underground Railroad and I was wondering what have you learned about the escaped slaves that have come to Wolf Island? Well, many did make it but also many um, died on the way and a lot of the slave catchers would catch them which I don't like that. I think it's a very poor idea and people should live a free life. Students have discovered an exciting aspect of their community's history and the role islanders have played in the Underground Railroad. Through the pop-up books, learning really comes alive. 